na naman ang lola niyo guys. Mag-aaral po tayo kasi may uh, we have exam tomorrow the personal development. Yan. Personal development. Tomorrow is Thursday. So we have personal development and the uh, introduction of philosophy. And then we have organization. So tomorrow we have two quiz. Long quiz. Yes. That is my life being a ABM student. It's a lot of uh, lessons here. So we need to review it. Good afternoon. Thank you for watching and I hope you are all good. Yes, even uh, I'm not here always, but uh, to God be the glory, God give us strength to come again here. Yes, and uh, I've been having my study and I will update you every now and then Yes, about my first periodic exam that's a final exam which is we need to be fast so uh, the most uh, difficult for me is the fraction yes very hard you know solving fraction is like but you know i never quit because i know god give me brain and he will give me wisdom and knowledge to understand so i will not give up I'm always said, always pray to God that I want to learn, Lord. I want to learn. I want to learn because my brain is not functioning, functioning more, more. Uh, what do you call critical thinking? My critical thinking. I need to evaluate my critical thinking, which is uh, when I'm young and and not studying. I never use my critical thinking. When you are in the college. Uh, you always need you you must create your own critical thinking you must level up because it's not always the teacher will discussing you thing like that and like when you are in high school the teacher will allow you whatever you think and you must analyze it if it's correct <laughs> that's why it's it's a bit hard but you know I said uh, God is always there to help us no matter what because this uh, study, this education is it's a long 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 time long years that I never uh, you know I never run run for when I'm young it's a lot of challenge in my life so uh, God knows that how I love to be a degree holder or a professional, yes, from since I'm young, but uh, of course, uh, trials change it. But now, even I'm uh, age, my age is already, you know, but hoping and praying that God will give me another chance to fulfill my dream, to be a professional and to work with my knowledge, especially, not for my labor, like hands i want to use my brain mm, if god's will yeah it depends on god i'm always trust god that he will be the one who can process for that mm, for my own understanding right now no not yet i'm not uh, totally develop my you know my critical thinking because before I'm not using critical thinking, I'm always use easy, easy way, <laughs> easy way. It's an easy way. I'm always shortcut. You know, it's not good. Always, you need big process. You need a process 
so you can reach your goal in your life. Yeah. <laughs> you need the process. Uh, the same when you are, you know, when you are applying something, you need the process. You undergo the process. You cannot shortcut. <laughs> My, me before, I'm always using shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Uh, that's why now I change a lot of changes that comes in my mind when I'm starting to study in college because there are so many different ways to become, you know, to this, to create more decisions that it's more accurate. Yeah, that's why uh, studying is a very, you know, for me it's a kind of another experience that uh, even somebody some someone told you that how why you study you cannot use that you're already old but for me it's very good it's i can't explain it's i can't explain maybe because i am not uh, uh, studying when i'm young i don't have a degree when i'm young so it's a matter of reality right now that those things, those uh, things that stop when I'm young, I continue it right now. So I hope uh, you can open this blog and you can learn what I'm saying about. I know some of you is a uh, professional, but I just want to share my own experience. That's all. <laughs> I never... Uh, compare it i just want to share my journey about my study so if ever i you know i ever i reach my goal or i'm be successful someday of course if you are studying if you are doing something of course of course you're gonna think for success not for failures always think success when you're starting things even not for the study even in, in a job or in a relationship, you always think success, not failures, of course. So, <laughs> so your immunity, your immune system is going to be developed. Your, you know, self-esteem will develop, of course. <laughs> not for bringing down because you need the energy to motivate yourself. So, I hope uh, some of us even uh, we are just in the house so don't stop learning there's a lot of ways you're gonna learn especially right now it's a lot of you know uh, high technology uh, this one even we're in, in school we are always researching those things that uh, you know we need a deeper 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 what deeper meaning deeper explanation you need to research it yeah because we, in in google there's a lot of things that you can learn so even you're not in school you can motivate yourself by starting to learn with your own uh, example you don't know the word that some people use there are some people using in not common english it's not common it's like Sometimes I just wonder why, what is the meaning of that? So I just research it so I can understand, especially when I'm reading, reading and listening stories about things. So I started to being, you know, conscious about everything. Yeah. Not for, you know, that's only for my studies. I want to learn more. So that's all. That's my journey in my studies right now. So far, so good. Thanks God. Only, only subject that I can't understand because of my teacher. I just want to share with you guys. My teacher in general, Matt, is not discussing. Unlike the other teachers, that they are really go and illustrate things for a while. And then later on, teachers are going to ask students if they understand but this my teacher in general mathematics she never had time to explain in front and she just let us to report every now and then so
So, last meeting, uh, Monday, I know yesterday, Tuesday, she gave us an exam or quiz regarding the uh, things we are reporting day by day. And then we can't understand because uh, other teachers, if they want to ask the student to report, then they will conduct a evaluation or the teacher we're gonna ask the students if they are understand if the student will said no i can't understand so the teacher we're gonna add, it, add more examples about the subject or the lesson but this teacher is not so hopefully i'm always keep praying but she's very good she's very nice teacher she's a religious teacher she's very you know feminine she's very slow she's very feminine she's very pretty and then maybe it's next meeting i'm always said we need more discussion now because we can't understand with the students you know all the students are going to be uh, correct check 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 but of course we need a closure for the you know for to evaluate us if our learning is good or not yeah, so hopefully before the exam, she, she will discuss only one subject. It's very hard. But the other math, because we have two math, the general math and the business math. But the business math is really good, you know. The teacher is from the, she's, he's from the very famous school in the university, Perpetual. Yeah, he's from the Perpetual. Disclaimer for, I just share my own experience so he's from from he's old but he's very good to explain every now another example then he never make the student oh you don't know like no he's motivating us to uh, to solve the problem so it's always using your brain when it comes to mathematics so hoping and praying that the you know, I survive. <laughs> Actually, I love math, but only additional. Additional, subtraction, multiplication. You know, this senior high, we have a fraction. We have uh, so many, a lot of things aside from the, you know, the adding and multiplying and division. It's a lot. They're going to combine it. And there, is, there are also uh, FX is equal to uh, G, GH, same like that. You're going to find find uh, something like that. It's really hard. So, oh my goodness, I will quit. Uh, once I learn, once I study and I slowly understand, it's going to be continuous. And like my uh, business math before, I also can't understand, but slowly, slowly, when my teacher is really patient to explain with us i understand now aside from fra uh, aside from multiplication addition uh, subtraction and now i slowly learn how to solve another term of multi uh, of uh, mathematics yeah so thank you guys for listening i hope you you know uh, you give us more what do you call motivation for each other and uh, those who are learning those who are studying right now keep going you are not one <laughs> we are a lot also my my classmates uh, they also can't understand even they are young of course not all the things uh, easily to understand not all also the old people get a lot of understanding no <laughs> so the same thing as you start a new uh, new journey in your life. Of course, you can, you know, you need to to study first. You need to check first. What is that? What is this? How? 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 <laughs> That's all. So thank you very much for listening. It's only I want to share my story about my journey of my study right now. So see you soon and get blessed.